In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Elegoo Saturn to print wirelessly via the network. Let's go. Oh, hey guys, Future Bill here. If you're wondering what this has to do with fishing, trust me, we'll get there soon. So I just got my Elegoo Saturn and it has an ethernet jack on the back, which means to me, hey, I can network print to this thing. So I plugged it in. I'm fortunate enough to have ethernet in my garage, in my shop. Uh, so I can plug it in and print directly out of Cheetu box. And it works eh, pretty well. I'd say it works pretty much 100% of the time on smaller models. When I try to slice bigger models and send them, it really seemed to bog down. The way it works, my understanding is it basically copies the file over the network to your USB stick. So you have to have a USB stick plugged into the printer uh, and then it kicks off a print. So not terribly, you know, sophisticated, if you will. Uh, I had a few people asking me on the Reddit forum about Wi-Fi printing. And so I wanted to give it a try. There is a setup I saw using a Raspberry Pi. I'll link that video below. Uh, I love the Raspberry Pi. I have Octoprint set up on my Ender 5 FDM printer. It works, it works great, I love it. Uh, but you, there is no Raspberry Pi for resin printers. Uh, so there is a Raspberry Pi setup, which basically allows you to copy a file via the network to the Saturn or any resin printer for that matter. But you still have to go down, print, uh, select the, the model and hit print on your printer. So it really doesn't save you a ton of time. It saves you basically moving a USB back and forth, which is great, that's awesome. Um, certainly more than I could ever program on a Raspberry Pi. But I wanted that experience that I get now with Ethernet, which is basically just sitting, hitting print or send a printer out of Chitu Box Direct. So I looked around and I found this guy. This is the IO Gear Ethernet to Wi-Fi jack. So after reading the reviews on Amazon, it seemed to be rather hit and miss on the setup. Uh, once it was up and working, it worked fine for people, but the setup was a little, how we say, janky. With this, I should be able to take the Ethernet out of the Saturn into this adapter and it should, to the Saturn, it thinks it's plugged into Ethernet, to everything else it's Wi-Fi. You know, I, I follow the instructions, there's a little bit more setup than, than you want to have. You got to manually configure some IP addresses in here. Uh, the, the documentation is, is good and that, you know, you can understand it, you can follow it, and you can see what to do. Uh, but then I started running into this problem where I would configure my Wi-Fi network, put in the password, hit submit, and it would just give me an error message. Uh, so the first thing I tried to do was download the latest firmware. There's a minor revision up there. I was running 0.05 and there's 0.07. Downloaded that, installed it, restarted, didn't, uh, didn't work again. One quick note, it does do WPS. So if you have a router that supports push button WPS configuration, then you're kind of set. Uh, the reviews I read said that worked pretty well. I do not have WPS on my Wi-Fi network. <laughs> so after updating the firmware, I decided what I needed to do really is sacrifice an ethernet cable to the IO gear gods. It's pretty obvious, right? So I went out, found an ethernet cable and off with its head. And then after rebooting it one more time, everything worked. So clearly that was the answer. Actually, I have no idea what the answer was. It just started working after I rebooted it. So I would say if you're having problems setting up the, the Wi-Fi after hitting submit, it gives you an error message, unplug it from power, let it sit, plug it back in and see if it connects. That seems to have been the magic to me. So then what I did is I went in, plugged the adapter into um, the ethernet port of the Elegoo Saturn, plugged it into power. This thing does need five volt power, it comes with a power adapter. Um, so you will be taking up a, a power plug now. Went up to Chitu Box, had the Squirtle model I was gonna try to print, uh, sliced it, supported it, hit send a network printer, and it failed. So the first thing I do is I go to see if this IP address is the same IP address as before, because maybe something got whacked out. So I pinged it and it showed up on the network, so that all seemed good. I went back in, hit print again, and it started working. So I think it was maybe just stuck in some weird sleep state or perhaps the time it took from walking from the garage to my upstairs office uh, wasn't enough time for it to get settled into the network. Uh, but again, if it's messed up, maybe sacrifice another ethernet cable or uh, wait a while, try to, try to ping it if you uh, want to and see if you can wake it up, so to speak. Uh, so I sent the print in and bingo, this is what I got. Uh, nice little squirtle. This, 
messed up tail is my fault. I didn't support it correctly, but it printed just fine. And uh, I printed uh, two other models uh, from it with uh, absolutely no problems. So I'm probably gonna go back to uh, ethernet, uh, but the Wi-Fi thing seems to work uh, just fine. So I think in short, you know, you can use this IO gear ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, there's certainly, if you have uh, a Netgear Orbi setup, which is a little bit more expensive, but it's a, another home mesh Wi-Fi solution. Uh, the Google Mesh Wi-Fi. Uh, Netgear also makes this range extender that I've used in the past. Uh, I think all of those things would probably work uh, just as well as this IO Gear. IO Gear is the least expensive solution at $48 on Amazon. So if you can deal with a few little hiccups during the setup process and you have an ethernet cable to sacrifice, then uh, you should be good to go. Um, if you have a, a better system like an Orbi or anything else, you can go with that. Uh, just needs an ethernet jack and it seems to work just fine. So hey guys, if you found this uh, useful for your Elegoo Saturn setup, I'd appreciate hitting the like button. If you are a super dork like me and you like 3D printing, DIY and fishing, well, dude, you better smash that subscribe button because I think I might be the only channel in existence that mixes all those things together. It's a weird mix, man. But hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And tight lines, everybody.